Hi guys, how's life? I'm Rubo Gubo, and today we will be covering the Gubo wagon, which we've been making in streams. If you haven't been paying attention, this uh, wagon has been inspired by a similar vehicle in Mad Max. As you can hopefully see, this is a very big creation, which does bring with it its lag problems, so you know, be careful for when you use it. But otherwise, I think it's a really good starter base. Because, I mean, as you can see, it's got a little something that could be a turret in the back of the vehicle. Or trailer. No, anyway. Um, let's go in. And, hopefully, the door's already open. Now, you might notice that the doors are rather big. Well, I thick. I really hope you noticed, actually. Anyway, this is because um, of these spud guns here, which are the game's guns, essentially. And, um... Their job is to either protect or defend this door and whoever's going in. Anyway, let's go inside. Inside, it is nice and spacious with a nice amount of room for your buddies. And through there, you will see something to do with the turret. But for now, let's go on to the driving. Now, this vehicle is a joy to drive. And um, as you can see right now, you can even drive this thing very well while zoomed in. Now please bear in mind that it does get the laggiest while driving, so just be careful. Anyway, um, now I can't really demonstrate this in this world because otherwise it would have been too laggy in my rather built up world, but you might encounter a hill and in the general rule with this vehicle is that if it looks too ambitious for this vehicle then it probably is could be considered a negative but on the plus side if it looks like it should be able to do it then it can which is you know it's it's nice now anyway um if you want this to find this joy of a vehicle to drive then um you might find it on steam links in the description anyway i did say i was going to cover the trailer so let's do that now okay so uh, this is the buttons for this lovely turret. Now, obviously, you might notice that there's this big thing around it, and this is what this button handles. It opens the doors, which, you know, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty cool turret, but you might think, you know, it doesn't do much without shooting or moving. So, let's press this button, which starts the rotation. You can switch it on or off, and even speed it up in one of these many controllers. This button here activates the shooting mechanism, which is nice and fast, in my opinion. But anyway, let's switch that off, because it's a bit noisy, you know? Now anyway, uh, you might be thinking, well, it's great and all, but I kind of need more range. Well, this is what this lovely button is for. That's right, it can go up. And I also may be thinking, mm, I'm thinking more maybe in the middle of the base. Something you can also do thanks to these buttons here, which will allow you to go left or right, depending on where you want it. And um, this can be very useful if you're um, trying, if you see an enemy from this side coming, just put the turret here or here. You know, and you can even keep this up while driving. You know, just a thought. So, you no. Know. Anyway, this is Rubo Gibo, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.